Hello, Chris here with experttexan.com, and today I'm going to be covering the topic of how much do billboards cost, and I think that the answer will surprise you. Uh, and I'm going to cover some things that about how billboards have changed over just the past couple of years and how cheap you can get your content, your marketing message on a billboard in front of thousands of people for literally pennies on the dollar. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button below. Uh, my name is Chris with Expert Texan, and on this channel, I'm going to be covering all kinds of things I wish that I had personally known early on uh, in my marketing career and in owning my local small businesses, things that would have helped me to explode my business so much faster. And so now I'm sharing those things with you. This video is one of them. I released another video not too long ago about Missing Letter. It's a software that has helped me explode my website traffic by over 200% and to get my content in front of thousands of people without hardly doing anything. And so uh, today we're gonna cover this topic and uh, stay tuned. And also uh, in the description below, I'm going to provide a link because if you want to test out some of these billboards that I'm about to show you and how cheap you can get them, you can get free money through the link that I am putting in the description. It's a promotional link where if you use it, we both get some money on our accounts to do some digital billboards and stuff for free uh, with free money. So if you want to test it out, definitely sign up through that link to get started. Now, before that, I want to show you why you would want to use this particular platform and also how cheap you can get these digital billboards. So without further ado, what you're seeing here is the Blip Billboard dashboard. Now on this dashboard, uh, there's nothing here because I do not have any active campaigns currently in process. Uh, I did run a previous campaign that I'm gonna show you here real quick and I'm gonna show you exactly how cheap you can get billboards. And then I'm gonna show you how you can go about doing it within just a couple of clicks. It's not even gonna take you more than five minutes to do this to get a billboard up and running in front of thousands of people on some of the busiest highways in the United States. So this particular one I ran here was um, a while back and uh, I recently started a new uh, endeavor which is uh, experttexan.com and Gerald Landscaping was one of my older projects that I had started. And so I pulled one of the reports here and this report will show you that I ran a campaign on I-35 in Central Texas. Now I-35 is one of the busiest highways in the United States of America. And I got a billboard and a display and I displayed it 1,362 times for only $13.62, which comes out to one cent per display on this digital billboard. Now, let me explain how digital billboards work. Digital billboards will display a series of billboard ads and they just rotate them. So it'll show one billboard for about 10 seconds, then another billboard for about eight seconds, then another billboard for 10 seconds, then another billboard and so on and so forth. And every billboard is different. Some will display it a little longer, some will display it a little shorter, and you can get those metrics online on each individual billboard, approximately how long your ad will be displayed per flip, which is what this website calls it. It's called a flip. So when yours flips, it turns your ad on and displays it on that display for eight to 10 seconds, or sometimes maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. Now, why is that so cool in and of itself? You might be thinking, well, I would want my ad to display longer than that. I want my ad to be up there permanently. Mm, not really. When there have been studies done on this by the OOH organization, I forget the exact name of it, but basically what they have come to determine through surveys and research is that people actually eventually, especially if they routinely travel on that side or that path of the road, they develop a blindness towards anything on either side of them, including billboards, especially if the billboard never changes you've probably been guilty of doing it yourself. You drive down the road, you see the same billboard the first couple of times, like, okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then you drive that same route 50 times in a row over the course of 50 days and you don't see it anymore. You don't pay attention anymore. In fact, the only time you see that billboard again is when it changes to a different display. And then you're like, oh yeah, that is a, there is a billboard there. Oh, what's this company? So with digital billboards, it does that 
all the time. It's constantly changing and it's bright no matter what time of day, night or day. So you don't have to worry about, is this billboard lit up? Will the lights go out on this billboard? And you've seen it before. You're driving down the highway and there's a billboard, but you can't see it because there's no lights on it. Not every billboard has lights on it. Or you drive down the road and there is a billboard with lights, but half the lights on the rack are out, so you can't see the billboard. And so digital billboard displays solve a lot of those problems. They're always visible, night or day, and they're constantly changing, so people never get used to seeing the same images. And you have a better opportunity of standing out when you create your displays. Why is that important? Because people won't develop a blindness towards what they're seeing on that billboard. And you have the opportunity to test multiple different types of designs on the billboard. So how many displays or how much time does this actually equal? Well, I crunched some numbers. And if you take 1,362 flips, and let's just say that was an estimated 10 seconds per flip, then that is 1,362 times 10 seconds per flip, which is 13,620 seconds divided by 60 seconds in a minute. And you have 227 minutes. Divide 227 minutes by 60 minutes in an hour, and you have 3.78 hours of display time on one of the busiest highways in the United States for $13.62. That right there should tell you that it's worth doing this if you incorporate it into your marketing strategy. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how you can get your display on a major highway in the United States for as little as one second of flip, and you can do it in less than five minutes. So let's go ahead. I'm going to be talking through this now, so I probably won't do this in less than five minutes because I'm going to be explaining things as I go. But when you go in here and just do this and you don't have to worry about filming a uh, screen capture to explain it to other people, you'll be able to do this in less than five minutes. So from here, you'll see you have active, archived, and drafts. It's gonna automatically place you onto the active board. You can see I have no active campaigns that exist. I do have an archived campaign. That's the one that I was just showing you here. And I do have a draft that I had just been playing around with last week before deciding I was gonna go ahead and do this screen recording. So if you go ahead and check on the active, there's nothing here. And so you're going to go ahead and click this button up here that says new campaign. All right. And now it's going to load the process for adding your billboard to digital billboards. So you have locations, you have budget, you have the schedule, you have the artwork, and you have the review process. And you can see here that it says that there's a total number of visible signs, 1,497 signs across the United States. And it's got a nice little map here showing you the concentration of those. And so you could literally get your ad displayed on all of these or one of these anywhere in the world you want. Even if you wanted to go out into highly populated areas like Los Angeles, or if you wanted to go to New York City, or you want to go into Florida like Miami, if you want to go into Texas, into some of the major metro areas like Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin. So you can just start by putting in the city, state, or zip. So for illustration purposes, I'm going to show you which one I did, which is the billboard at mile marker 276 on west i west south i 35 this again is the busiest section of uh, our busiest highway in the united states or at least one of them and so you can get this billboard set up so if you want to do that you just click add sign that has told you exactly where it is and you can go and check where that sign is it also shows you what side of the road it is on and so you know which direction traffic is going so let's say for instance you are a business right in here and this billboard is for people coming down this way or let's say you're even a couple exits down the road well that's fantastic because all of these people coming down this way are going to see your billboard and so your message if you're a local business especially you're going to want to put something up there that's going to direct people to come to your business wherever it is down here so that's just one of many strategies now the next step is if you want to add additional billboards, you can. So let's see if there is a billboard in Georgetown, which is just a little further down the road. Does not look like it. So let's 
go even further down the road to Austin, Texas. Ah, oh, they haven't made it here yet. So maybe we can zoom out and see where these might be. Okay, so cool. I can see this is another cool feature right here. So you can see uh, where yours is already selected. And then you can see where other nearby billboards are if you're not coming up with any hits through the search. And so you can see they've got one right here. So this might make sense for your campaign. It may, it may not. But either way, it's going to show you where that is and you can add that sign to your billboard. And so let's go ahead and click add sign. Great, so now we've got two signs that we want to display and it looks like this is actually a double-sided sign. So we can actually do both sign sides if we wanna grab traffic going both ways. And we can also zoom in here and see what highway this is. This looks like it is on, not a highway, looks like, oh, even better. It is on West Stan Schluter Loop. So if you have a business anywhere in this region or you just want to get a cheap and affordable billboard with high traffic because this is in the Fort Hood, Harker Heights region and Colleen region, this is one of the highest populated regions um, in the central Texas area. And Fort Hood is heavily concentrated with military personnel, contractors, etc. So if that's in your demographic, then that would make sense that you would want to put in a billboard here because this looks like it's sitting pretty right in the middle of a bunch of neighborhoods where there's probably a ton of military families. So you've got your location selected, you've decided you're going to move forward with it. So you click save and continue. All right, and then right here, you'll see how much do you want your maximum daily budget to be? So if you've got three billboards, then you probably should pick, you should probably do at least a minimum of $30 because I believe the minimum budget per billboard is around $10. And that will allow you to display it for as low as one or however many cents it ends up being. Now, that amount is going to change based on the location of the billboard and how frequently you want it to be displayed. And, uh, the demographic in the region of that billboard and how much traffic is going by it. So you won't always get as low as one cent per billboard display, but you have a lot of control over this. So let's keep going and you'll be able to see a little bit of that play out. Also, if you click this button, how do I click my budget or pick my budget? It's going to show you this handy little calendar right here uh, about what your budget is. So let's say, oh, decided to reload the page, I guess. All right, so daily budget, let's say we put in $30 for a daily budget, most likely 790 ad displays in a single day. That is a lot of ad displays. And so let's say if we took that down to $10, 263 displays during the day. And so that's most likely low or high, it's an estimate. Uh, but again, it's based on the billboards you select and how many other billboards are uh, billboard ads are being displayed on that display at any given time. So we'll pick a start date. So let's say we wanted it to run from starting tomorrow and we wanted to run this campaign for um, all the way through the end of February. Or you can just set it to ongoing so that it never cancels. It just keeps running and running and running that ad, which if you're familiar with the billboard already, then that's fine because you're already going to know how much traffic you're driving from that billboard because you've already done testing and all that good stuff. If not, and you're just testing it, you might want to run it for about two to four weeks just to see what type of return you're getting on it. And if you're picking up any traffic or phone calls or store visits or website visits, whatever your, your target goal is. Once you've set that, you're going to go ahead and click save and continue and it's going to go to your schedule. Now here on the schedule, it's going to show you what the highest traffic times are of the day. And so you can choose max audience and it'll automatically optimize your displays to reach as many people as possible. Or you can do off peak hours. And when you select off peak hours, it's gonna show you where you're going to be displaying it. So you're gonna have lighter traffic, but you're also probably gonna have a lower cost. And that's where you can set your max amount that you're willing to pay per blip. This is kind of like a, uh, if you do ever have ever done social media ads, this is kind of where you get to choose what is the maximum amount of money I'm willing to, play, to pay for my ad to display in front of people per thousand or whatever. And so, this is how much is the max that you're willing to pay per blip. So I usually don't mess with this a whole lot. I didn't mess with it with that last campaign I did. And I still got 
each display as low as one cent a display. So, but again, it really comes down to how many other digital displays are competing for that ad space and are their schedule that they've selected to be displayed on that digital ad. But you can see here, there's all these preset audiences, or you can choose to do your own custom schedule. So you can choose max audience, you can choose daily commuters, which is gonna focus on the specific timeframes where people are commuting. So 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And this is gonna automatically sync up with whatever the market is, so you don't have to worry about your time zone and all that good stuff. If it's meal times, let's say you're a restaurant or you're somebody who is focusing on targeting people who have free time during the day in your area that wouldn't otherwise be in that area. There's a whole different, a whole lot of ways that you can figure out your marketing plan, but these are some simple ways to show you how to target specific people. And so you can select specific hours. So if you want to do 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. and let's say we wanted to take off uh, 5 p.m. We will go and do, let's see, 8 p.m. And you can change the um, amount that you're willing to pay per blip. And so if it's a hot, high target area or a high traffic time and you want to make sure that you are getting displayed during that time, well, then you can go with a higher pay per blip and you can select the time frames that you want to do that. So once you have decided the timeframes that you want to do this, we're going to go and just do max audience. We just want to get this ad in front of as many people as possible. We're going to go ahead and click save and continue. This is where we get to the fun part. This is the fun part. If you have a design that you already um, know you want to upload or you want to create a design, you can do that. And it tells you the billboard design size that you're going to need to create your design in. Because keep in mind, every single billboard is going to have a different design measurement. And you need to create one that is automatically aligned with these the, the scope of that particular billboard. So this is 936 by 264. And the other one that you've selected is a 464 by 144. So you have to make sure that your designs line up with these uh, specs. Now, if you do not know how to design uh, or you have no desire, you don't have time, whatever it might be, or you just don't want to do it, you can have their design team do it for as little as $75. They'll create a professional design for you and they'll make sure that it's optimized for the billboard and it'll get uploaded into your account and you'll be all set. Or you can use a uh, program like Canva or Snappa, which I will put those links into the description where you can actually create these designs with uh, relative ease and it'll be optimized and all that stuff for you. You can download the high definition graphic, all that good stuff, and then upload it yourself if you have some design skills or even if you don't, Canva and Snappa allow you to uh, really make yourself look like you have some design skills even if you have absolutely none. And so... The other option is this blip billboards now has, and this is a recent feature. You can see it's still in beta. Um, and this is one of the biggest reasons I wanted to do this video because it makes it so simple for people to get their marketing message out for small local businesses, influencers, whoever you are. And it's very, very, very simple. And so you can create your design here in 30 seconds. You just put whatever information you want in. So I put in experttexan.com as the website, as the primary text. And then you can put in a subhead. So subhead for me might be something like work smarter, play harder. And then I'm going to put in my uh, logo or I can put in text if I want. But I'm going to put in my logo here real quick. I'm going to select, uh, I think I want my... Yeah, that one, uh, because that's going to be my transparent logo. And so I can put it right here and it's going to be an all black sign with white and yellow text, which is cool. And then I can also change the background color. I can change the font. I can do all this stuff with these and I can choose from multiple designs that they have preset in the system. And this creates the billboard design for you. And I love it because you can even see what it's going to look like on that billboard, an example of it right here, which is really, really, really cool. And so I love this feature. I cannot emphasize how cool this is because it makes it so easy for anybody to do this. And so uh, I, I highly recommend using this tool if you don't have any design skills or you do, but you don't want to use Canva or you don't have time, whatever it is, uh, or if this is just sufficient for you, it's a quick way to get billboards up. It's automatically optimized 
to the sign sizes that it needs to go up to. So you don't have to worry about creating it or resizing it or doing any of that stuff. It's all here and it's all ready for you to get this approved. And also when you do it this way, it's a lot easier to get it approved when you click save and go to the next step because they have to, of course, just like any ad platform, they're going to have to review it to make sure there's no uh, content that they won't allow into the billboards as an ad. Um, and also they're going to want to make sure that your billboard is optimized for the signs. Oh, I'm having an issue here. Um, that it is optimized for um, the billboard sizes that you're selecting. So re it's rendering all necessary sizes for all billboards. It's going to do it automatically. You don't have to worry about that part, resizing it for every single different billboard that you're going to go put an ad on. So um, it's going to take a minute here rendering those sizes, it looks like. So we're going to wait a minute. All right, so here on this page, I can save this ad name. So we'll just put expert Texan test billboard campaign and click create. All right, so here we are and uh, we have this campaign and it's giving us a quick summary of this campaign. So we're gonna do expert Texan, again, test billboard campaign. And uh, you can save it under whatever name up to 100 characters. The locations, if you need to go back and edit this, but it's gonna show you a snapshot of the location. Again, remember this is a double-sided sign. So that means that is uh, basically two signs in one. And then we have this one out here on I-35 with southbound or west south bound traffic. And then we have our budget and start date of $30 starting tomorrow and ending on February 28th. And we have our daily schedule set and we have one ad type selected to be displayed on all billboards. So that is awesome. Now you can upload multiple artwork for multiple billboards if you want, and you can uh, select which one you want to be displayed on which billboards. But for this uh, particular scenario, we're just going to go with one uh, artwork for all billboards that have selected. And we're going to go ahead and uh, you can click save and close or you can go ahead and click request approval. And you'll see here that it now has a status for you showing that the artwork has been submitted and Blip is reviewing it and it'll notify you once the artwork has been approved to be displayed. And it says it generally takes one to two business days. And again, shows you a little bit of what that is going to look like uh, on that billboard. So you're done, you've created everything. Again, you saw how quick that was. This could literally be done in less than five minutes if you really wanted to. If you wanna put a little more thought into it and um, be more selective about the locations that you want to pick. Obviously, you can spend a lot more time doing this, but this is an incredibly powerful platform that did not exist just several years ago. And this uh, beta platform to create your own ads inside of their system with this auto optimization feature, that didn't exist, I think, even a year ago. I think it just got released in the past four to six months uh, when they sent me a notification about it. Um, and so you, it's just a very powerful platform. Now, just a couple more things, um, you can put in multiple organizations. So if you have, uh, more than one, like this one, I'm just managing expert text out of this particular one, but if you want to manage multiple, uh, clients, for instance, out of blip billboards, you can add multiple organizations. You can set your profile and preferences. You can add additional users and give them permission settings. Uh, so for instance, I gave myself, uh, but through a different email, uh, uh, an, another admin role on this platform. So if I want to log in with a different email, I can. You can pull reports that will help you uh, better understand your performance on the ad displays and how much money you're spending and how much it's costing you per display, similar to the report I showed you at the beginning of this video. You can manage your payment methods. You can also manage your credits that you may have already paid to Blip. Um, it'll show you what you've paid and uh, if you have any credits on your account. And then you can also go to the rewards tab, which if you refer other people uh, 
and they spend $25 with Blip, you both get $75 in credit. So again, the link is below in the description. When you sign up, once you've spent $25, you get $75 as a credit on your account. And so you basically have $75 of free marketing money to display more ads on Blip billboard campaigns. So I hope that you have found this information to be incredibly useful. I know I have, I'm actually gonna be rolling out a campaign in the near future here with Blip uh, for Expert Texan. I've got a course that's gonna be coming out, um, a marketing course, and so I'm actually gonna incorporate this into my marketing campaign. Uh, but this can be used for all kinds of different scenarios. Uh, this is not gonna be the only video I'm gonna do on this. I'm gonna cover more about uh, marketing strategies with different types of businesses, whether you're a service-based business or a local business uh, or a, like I said, like influencers or anybody at all. There's all kinds of different user case scenarios of people that can get huge value out of a platform like this and how it can be a powerful component to your marketing campaigns. So again, thanks for tuning in and I'll look forward to talking to you next time.